Hi and welcome to this community meditation. Women in our community has shared what difficult emotions they are experiencing on this journey of healing and reversing pelvic floor dysfunction symptoms. It can be prolapse, incontinence, pelvic pain, low libido, the list goes on. But the fact is that it's really hard facing pelvic floor dysfunction and I would say all of us are affected emotionally in one way or another when it comes to facing these symptoms. And that's the reason why I created this meditation. I want all of you out there struggling, maybe feeling isolated, to know that you are not alone. We are in this together. And the sense of community and supporting each other is actually a crucial piece in the healing puzzle. We can't heal alone and isolated. We need to feel the connection to other humans and women in the same situation. So take your time and get comfortable. I would suggest lying down and put your hips on a pillow. Maybe you want to put the legs up the wall or on a bed or just have bent knees with your feet on the floor. Placing the arms somewhere comfortable Maybe cover yourself with a blanket and try to relax down toward the earth, Mother Earth. Take a deep breath in and fill up the lungs as you softly exhale through the mouth. Maybe you want to close your eyes and really relax your face, your jaw, your skull. And if you can tune into sensation of trust that you are held and that you are not alone. I am going to share with you emotions that women have expressed that they go through in this journey of and healing. And maybe you can recognize yourself in some of these emotions. Maybe you can't. So I encourage you to just listen to these words without judge judgment. Maybe emotions will arise when you hear what women are experiencing maybe you will feel sad or angry or something else let that come to the surface if you want to cry you cry if you want to scream you scream seeing these few moments that we are sharing together as a space where we can all connect and support each other because we are not alone. So 
so women have expressed that they experience feeling stuck with pelvic bow dysfunction. That they are depressed. That they don't have energy any longer to do daily tasks. They have expressed that they feel broken. And that they feel symptoms are never going to improve or get better. Connect to your breath. Try to stay relaxed. We are all in this together. Women have also expressed feeling hopeless, helplessness, and anxiety. They have expressed feeling anger, grief. Feeling lost, feeling weak, fear, women who are on the journey of healing pelvic floor dysfunction say that they don't feel good enough. They feel flawed. They feel shame. Women who are healing feel frustration, isolation, great disappointment in her body, a feeling of being let down by her lady parts. Women experience limitation in movement, not feeling free in her body. Taking deep belly breaths. See if you can connect to all women out there. Maybe you can relate to some of these emotions. Just know that whatever you are going through, probably someone else is experiencing the exact same thing. You are not alone. We are in this together. Maybe you want to inhale and sigh before I read the last emotions.
women with pelvic floor dysfunctions feel uncomfortable, unattractive. Again, feeling a lot of shame. And as if something is wrong with her body. There is fear around. Maybe I will not be able to heal. Or taking too much time to heal or improve that something is wrong or off with her body. All these emotions are completely natural to feel and you should feel them. They are also kind of a symptom. They are like crying babies that need your attention. And if you give them what they need, they will quiet down and fall asleep. Maybe you don't know for sure what they need. These emotions or what you need. That's okay, it's a part of the healing journey. And just by creating space and acknowledging any emotions that you are experiencing on this journey is going to be helpful for you to reverse symptoms that you are experiencing on both a physical and emotional The last thing that I want to say is you are not 